Hello everyone, my name is Raman. So usually when I, I mean, usually I always try to record uh, 10 minute games, but uh, this is a 3 minute game I played already. So I, I mean, I want to show you a very important, uh, very important concept here. So I am white, I played here e4 and my opponent played f3 and c6 after uh, b5, intending to go Rai Lopez, but he played the move knight f6, intending to go Berlin. So he went Berlin. So Berlin defense or Berlin wall. So uh, here I cancel. So and after knight takes c4. Uh, you, you, usually usually d usually d4 is a, usually d4 is the move, is the main move. But also the, I mean there are many silence. Uh, but here I took bishop to c6. Mm, so uh, usually d5 is in uh, d4 and after uh, after d4 after d4 knight d6 and after bishop and after uh, bishop takes pawn takes. And um, and the line goes like that, something like this. And after d4, so bishop takes, pawn takes, knight takes, four queen d1. I mean, I mean usually then the theory goes like this, but uh, so so but I I mean I went, I just went I just I, so I mean I kind of uh, exchange variation or. Uh, uh, I don't know what I mean. I, I don't remember recall this name exactly. I think, yeah, here it is. Rai Lopez, open, Rai Lopez opening Berlin. I have my Berlin wall defense, something like that. So, and after that, we have e7, queen e1. So, my idea is to not allow him to castle. If he castles, I will win. I will win the bishop. So, and after bishop to e6. So, yeah, one important concept is here. Um, I mean, my queen side develop is. Uh, I don't have a queen. My queen side pieces are not are still undeveloped. But my king is safe. And he has, he has yet to castle on the queen side. But although his knight and bishop are developed. And also, my uh, he has a bishop pair. But I have four four uh, four pawns. Also, that's a compensation. I mean, that, that's a um, that's a compensation black has uh, for the uh, for the pawn, for this pawn structure for the for this pawn structure and also he has a he has a, a slight lead in development but I mean, as long as his king is not yet castled I think white has a slight edge in this very in this opening so I played d3 so white d3 just to stop knight to c4 so I played d3 and after castles and uh, I mean I'm, I'm I I think maybe maybe he has to go maybe maybe he has to go bishop to f6 just to kick out this he got this. Um, he got this rook, and I think he can. And, and in that way, he can uh, he can cover the d d4 square. I think bishop f6 is the best move for him. But he played castling, and uh, I think it's a, it's a clear mistake. Castling is a clear mistake because I I have knight d4, and after this I'm winning at least a pawn. And after bishop f6, knight takes e6, f takes e6. And so he cannot take this bishop because I'm threatening his queen. So f takes e6. I think at least he can. I think at least he can try. I I don't know. I'm not. I'm I'm not sure whether Queen E seven works. So if Queen is if Queen E seven, I mean I can obviously take. I obviously obviously take this, but I'm not sure whether this works. I mean, so but he took and it, it's clearly. So it's clearly. I mean I'm a, I'm a clear pawn up and also he doesn't have the bishop pair, and now it's a clear for. I mean he has a double pawn and. Uh, I think I'm I'm better. I'm I think I'm better here. So he's threatening, he's threatening the f2 pawn and the bishop takes f2 forks my king and queen so I brought my rook back so after queen to h4 I play g3 so I mean g3 is not the best move but I mean obviously something like knight c3 or even c3 is better but yeah so queen f6, queen f6 and then he's, obviously, he's threatening the b2 pawn so I play c3 taking other bishop and after bishop b6 yeah, here I think. Uh, here I, I, I think I think d4 is d4 shutting down that bishop is a good move, but I'm worried about c5. So liberating his bishop, so I played bishop a3. I thought maybe he, I mean, uh, I have a feeling that he wouldn't take, and he didn't take the bishop. So he played rook a8. So so I played I played d4, completely shutting out this bishop. But all that I'm giving the now c4 square. I think I can I can simply I can simply bring my bishop back and then play play b3 but I mean so so I played I mean obviously that is also possible but I thought I mean his bishop will should never liberate I thought that so after knight takes c3 rook takes c3 
obviously taking with pawn is also possible and uh, when he's he i mean he can out he can never play c5 but uh, i mean but i don't want it this is my pawn such so i mean even if we rook takes queen takes then i can play b4 and then shut sh sh down i mean i can completely shut down this bishop that i i so after uh, rook d8 i played b4 now clamping down this come bishop completely so that's the important thing now i i mean all the my two my queen said two uh, rook and knight are not, still not developed yet yet not developed but still i think i have a clear advantage here so rook d7 so i played b4 and rook d7 rook d7 i thought with the idea of uh, rook to d rook d f7 so i mean tripling on my f7 pawn so after the end to rook d f7 i played i played i mean uh, i can i can i can play something like knight to e4 but i thought maybe f5 and then i can i can bring my bring my knight um, i mean so obviously it's taking is a bad idea because he can take or he can or he can simply play i mean simply play bishop a7 and then c5 so i just need to support the pawn and then takes takes and then he got impatient i mean he was running out of time as you can see 20 seconds so it takes takes so takes and to knight f3 he took the, i mean and yeah, here he resigned. I think I mean this is a I mean I usually play some I usually play some weird, weird openings in these games especially just to I mean just so that I want to see what I mean I want to just I mean you know playing all this thirteen openings doesn't give you much. I mean playing you need to play your openings so that uh, I mean what one thing I do in Blitz games is play my openings. Play, play, play my openings up, which I usually play in the tournament. That's uh, that because I know some of my. I mean, when I where I see some new moves or new. I mean, new moves that are uh, that I feel uncomfortable when I play with the over the board. I just I just analyze them uh, when I'm free. So that whenever I, I whenever I play in the tournaments, whenever I I I, I mean I, I again encounter that line, I can just simply repel back the attack or uh, I can gain an advantage. So that's the reason. And sometimes I play Blitz to have fun. So whenever I want to have fun, I play different kind of opening. I mean, some weird openings. I mean, here especially in this line, I played. I mean, usually I know the, I know that the main line is um, D4 here, obviously. But yeah, I mean, who wants who cares about the main lines? So yeah, so that's all in this video. So I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.